going on guys welcome back to pimp my ride and need for speed payback this is episode number four you guys have been smashing the like button leaving so many amazing comments on these videos we are doing some more so we got two things to mention before we get into today's video one we are currently working on a little contest with our friends over at elgato gaming together elgato and i are giving away a custom elgato hd 60s with a forza motorsport 7 like paint job on it we're also giving away a copy of forza motorsport 7 the ultimate edition and an ar12 snapback and hoodie link is down below if you want to enter there are only two days so make sure you get in while you can. Number two, if you guys would like to leave suggestions for future episodes, let me know in the comments down below and next episode I might just do your idea. With that being said, let's start up today's video of Pit My Ride. Today, we are gonna be working on the ultimate off-roader. Now, this video might be a little bit longer than usual because we need to go and find the derelict for this. I found on the internet the other day this. No, not, not that, not that. This! So I was like, that is really, really cool. And today, I wanted to do my best at trying to do something similar to that. So today, we are going to be building the Ford Mustang and going in and making it into the ultimate off-roader. With that being said, we got to go and find this derelict. So uh, let's, try to, let's try to find this one. I've not actually found the Mustang before in this game. So uh, let's go give this a thing a go. Also, look at this. Look how good I am at this. I, I'm, I already know where it is. Can I just say as well... I wish there were more areas on this map that you could like fast travel to because driving to some around. of these is like a long, here. long, long way away. All right, Mustang, they have been awarded another base shipment. How many do I have now? Like I was just doing some missions before recording this because well, I was bored. I have three of them. Nice. Okay, that bonging is so annoying. Hello, Mustang. Yes, we're not gonna make it look like that. We're not gonna make it look like that either. Or like that. <laughs> we need to go and get our four parts. I think I know where this guy is. This guy looks like it's all the way over here. Am I right? I think it's right here. Yeah, it is. Derelict part. Oh, I saw it. It was up there. It was a... Oh. Oh, of course we need to take the jump. Okay. Give me a minute. I really hope this 350Z is fast enough. Come on. Uh... Just? Actually, nearly too fast. All right, first part has been found. That looks like an engine thing. I don't know, it's just in a little box. All right, cool. Next, it is over here. That's near the runway. I can see the runway on the picture of that. It's right here. At least we're banging these out though. This feels good. I, I, I missed this game. I haven't played this game enough recently. I'm, I'm honestly waiting until we, we, we can do online stuff properly. Because I think we all know that it's coming now. It's just a thing that's going to take time. Sneaky game. All right. Second part found. Don't know what that is. But apparently whatever it has, has just been dented by that thing. Next one. Let's go do this guy all the way over here. Where the hell is that? Oh, that's right here. I can spot that immediately. I'm getting really good at these derelicts. I'm very proud of myself. I found a cheeky jump. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. I am get. We've just found a piece of wood. Cool. Last one. Look how fast we're doing this. This is the fastest, like, this is derelict run, speed run. Oh, oh, oh. Secret jump. Oh. Hell yeah. Oh, it's all the way over there. Don't fall off! Yeah, look at this. My little drift car. Turns out it's an off-roader. Hell yeah. That was pretty good. Good job, 350Z. That took us like 15 to minutes only. Six. So Mustang, let's turn this thing into our off-roader. Let's do it. All right, so let's try to turn this thing into one hell of a car. Obviously, we will at some point be able to do the super build, but uh, we're not going to do that today. We're just going to make this thing into something very, very cool looking. Now, I was saying I want to make this thing into almost the ultimate off-roader. So, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that, but I'd like to try my best and see what I can do. <laughs> do we have any cool front fenders? I will say this car looks way cooler with no front fenders and no front bumper. I'm just making this thing into a normal looking Mustang. Actually, those are kind of off roady Sure. Rear fenders, we can make those ones wide. If we make the rear wide, that could look quite good. Nobody wants a wing that big. It is unnecessary and silly. Oh, 
I like that a lot. Ooh, we have some, like, off-roady ones. I like that. Debadged. Oh, it also completely kills our license plate. It's gonna be bad for the product plugin. Speaking of product plugin, get your AR-12 winter hats before they sell out. Link is down below. Start on AR-12gaming.com. That looks insane. Okay, sure. I've never seen something that looks quite like that before. Exhaust. I want some big fat ones. Maybe those guys. Those are big and fat. Diffuser. Uh, most of these are locked. So never mind. And that's it for our little Mustang. That's kind of disappointing. Maybe I should try and do the fender glitch. Oh, for God's sake. This is why I don't do these glitches. Because they never work for me. Hey! That looks much better. That looks freaking cool. Alright, we just need some more off-roady wheels. Because those are... Well, they are a bit big. Uh, we do need a paint job for this, though. So let's just try to find one. Community. What is the community made? Oh. See, I didn't think of turning it into this. Yeah, let's do this one. I like it. Let me just fix my rims, paint them the right color. Uh, maybe let's get some tire letters on there as well. Because that, I mean, are there any good, oh. Let's go with the very off-roady tires. And then maybe just go like yellow headlights. Yellow headlights with like the, the gray body. That is a cool looking car, especially with no hood. This looks very, very cool. What's it look like when we get the NOS on? That sound! It does have okay um, upgrades we need to make upgrades right now. It's a bit slow I will be honest, but we have shipments. So let's use some shipments. I've also got 500k credits to um Waste all right. Well, maybe we should just buy our basic part. So block ECU head get that times three Americana boost We need turbo exhaust gearbox, please turbo gearbox. Come on carbon exhaust. Oh, we were so close We were so close Oh, wow. Times four already. G or level four already. GG. I'm still not getting a goddamn exhaust. At least it was speed level five. Hey, now I feel very prideful and accomplished. Oh. Ah, that gives me another boost, though. That's fine. An entire time and I didn't get an exhaust. Didn't I just get a... What the fuck? How do we have level one parts? We just spin and we get a level not... How <laughs> Look how many blocks we have. So apparently we found out the game only likes to give me blocks. I'm always getting shafted in this game. Let's go do some races. Yeah, this is the definition of a no shit given car. Holy crap. What is this in the distance? Oh, it's the spaceship. I should have known it was this. Anyways, props to me. That's, that's how you find that for real. Like without watching a guide or anything. I was like, what the hell is all this green stuff? And I just drove to it. Spaceship. I do quite like the race right next to the uh, the part shop, so let's go do that one. Maybe we'll go up against some roaming racers as well. That could be fun. You know what? Let's do this first. Get... Well, now you're here. Fine. I didn't plan on doing this right now, but sure. Yo, Your car is actually faster than mine, so uh, good luck. You're also a pro-level person. My Mustang is so cool, though. It is so, like... No shits given car. Look at this. Our car is way slower and you're not catching. Sorry. We're too fast. Way, way too fast. This thing is level 160. It's nowhere near fully upgraded. And one, the thing's already hella fast. And two, it's just freaking cool. Cash money. <laughs> Forgot how cringe this game was. Yep, I did forget about that. All right, now can I go and do this race, please? Because I would like to do that one and actually win a speed car. The problem, I'll say, with roaming racers is you beat them, then you go up against the boss, and then what do you get for that? I would imagine some mega prize, but I have no idea. It just doesn't seem worth it when you can do a race that takes roughly the same amount of time, get money for it, and get a speed card for it, and XP. Like, they're cool, the roaming racers, but... It just doesn't seem worth it. You guys will have to let me know if there's some huge prize at the end you get for beating, like, the boss or something. But I, I just haven't gotten that far yet. Until then, I'm just taking my time, really. I honestly recommend if you do have the Mustang, just remove the hood. Then you can see that crazy, crazy engine in there. Oh, no. Oh, uh, we made it! We made it! We made it, game! Oh, really? You spawned me behind the jump? just let me kept going for one second, I would have been fine. Get the NOS on! Cut across the grass. Cut past my guy, thank you. Brilliant job. Look at that. Mustang's not only cool, but it actually is really fast. For a level 100 car, 
I honestly don't think you could beat this. And then you have to keep in mind as well, one, you can make this into a super build once you get it to level 300. You can also uh, turn this thing into a level 300 plat or a level 400 car, basically. That's insane! Like, why would you want anything else? Like, screw the Porsche Panamera. Screw the silly G-Class. This is what you want! Oh, that actually is better than the one I had. It gives me a little bit of acceleration as well. So thanks, game. Should we take on this cool, like, Gymkhana race? I mean, it might be kind of hard. We can try. I've also noticed something weird about this game. So you know when we did this race in the, in the, in the career mode? We went up against, what's his name? The, the Holtzman. He's like the big villainy guy. Anyways, when you go up against him in this, or when you do the race again, you don't go up against him again. So therefore, once you've beaten that race once, it's impossible to go up against that guy unless you do all the roaming racer stuff, which is kind of annoying. I wanted to race full this morning. Also, it has nothing to do with my logo being on his car, I'm just gonna say. Anyways, down we go. Jim Connor race, we need a single jump of 100 meters. We can try our best at that. That seems kind of hard, though, if I am honest. Oh, and the AI is already crashed. You can see him on my map. He's facing the wrong direction. Good job. Oh, uh, never mind. Apparently, that side bet was not as hard as I thought. I already nailed that one. Got some walls. Good. When I saw the picture of the Mustang, I was like, okay, that's a pretty cool car. But I had no idea. Obviously, it was a picture, right? I had no idea of the crazy soundtrack that went along with this. And just how fast it was. I cannot wait until I do the super build. The super build is going to be epic. This should be some pretty solid money, though, I think, for doing this. I'm just going to say. Oh, okay. Well, shit. See, this is why we need Holtzman. This guy is just not up to par. He wrecked it within 30 seconds. And he's gone. Now it's just our race. I have been driving so incredibly poorly, yet this guy still has not even caught me up. I genuinely don't know where he is. Well, that really wasn't much of a challenge whatsoever. That was probably one of the easiest races we've ever done. But we came first, pulled it in in five minutes. Gonna get some decent money from that as well, thank you. We got our side bet completed. 140 meters was what we jumped, that's pretty good. We get 18,000 monies for that, plus our 26 for coming first place. Yeah, that's decent. That pays for some of our silly upgrades, all right. Level five exhaust. I think that's an improvement on the one we had. Oh, a big improvement on the one we had. Anyways, guys, I am gonna wrap this up here. That was another episode of Pin My Ride. This is an incredible Mustang. I urge you guys to go and try this thing out because one, like I've been saying for this entire episode, it is just so, so cool. Just look at how insane it looks. We haven't even gotten close to maxing this thing out, like, level-wise. We can turn this thing into an absolute monster. I think this truly is the ultimate off-roader. And with a bit of work, you can make it hella fast as well. So anyways, guys, that is gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can subscribe down below for more. Make sure you smash the like button. Leave what you would like to see me do in the next episode in the comments down below. And don't forget to enter that giveaway while we still got it going on. Only two days, like I said. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!